Oh my god, you guys, look this right here. Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree. Welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly appreciated. Thank you so much, and welcome back, besties. Today, you can tell by the title, I am about to spill all the tea on the new fragrance releases from Tom Ford. If you want to hear my thoughts, my first impressions, my opinion, and my 72-hour wear test, please continue to watch. Here on this channel, I do cover fashion, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle, all things fancy and fabulous dueling. So if that sounds like something that you'd be into, stop what you're doing. Drop me your scent of the day. I want to know, what are you rocking today? You know I like to know what you're rocking. If this seems like your vibe or your zhuzh, go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button. Don't stop there. If you really want to become a bestie, come over and say hi on Instagram. Without further ado, we are jumping in right now. You guys, another impromptu, a quick 2.5, I promise. I promise, a quick 2.5 is coming. You know I'm not gonna keep you, I'm not gonna hold you. This is another day I don't film on. I told you I was gonna have the video out on Monday. Well, I did a video and somehow it was deleted. So I'm doing it again. I just left the gym. Hence the look, I tried to put a quick beat on so I could drop you this review. All right, this is what we're getting into. You guys know I like to tell you what's going on, okay? So I went into the store, I played with it, I asked for a sample. You know I gotta give you some backstory, okay? It wouldn't even be me, a quick 2.5. I went into Neiman Marcus and I picked up the bottles, was playing with them. They are $390. For a 50 mil, $390 for a 50 mil. I was like, I gotta make sure I like it. You know, I am a huge fan of try before you buy. However, she was like, we don't have any samples. I was like, cool, no worries, no problem. I brought my own containers in. Can you just douse these up and fill them up for me? Let me play with it. And you know, I'm that girl, I'm gonna come back if I like them. And she was like, oh, we really don't do that, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, she was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and fill them up for you. So here she put electric heart or, oh my God, girl, please stop making up the name. Here she put electric cherry. Okay, can you see that there? That was electric cherry. It's got a little juice left in it. Here, and I've been calling it the wrong name this whole time. In this one, she put cherry smoke. Do you see it? Do you see it? It's empty, it's gone. Needless to say, cherry smoke is my favorite. I absolutely loved it. I went back, I met with her amazing customer service at Neiman Marcus. Shout out to you. I absolutely love your fragrance department, beauty department. Everybody is so kind, so nice, and so knowledgeable. So shout out to the team over at Neiman Marcus. You guys, like I said, I'm not gonna hold you, not gonna keep you. I picked up both. I'm gonna break them down and tell you why. Let's start with Electric Cherry. I know you guys have probably seen the box by now. So it's, you know, it's if you have a Tom Ford fragrance, it looks like all the other ones from the Private Blend and this one is no different. It almost looks identical to Lost Cherry. However, I do feel the bottle is a tad bit more pinker, kind of reddish. It's not as, you know, muted or as dark colored as Lost Cherry. In my opinion, it is a spring, summer, beautiful fragrance. You already know what I say. Spray what you want, when you want, and spray as much of it as you want. But in my honest of opinions, I spoke with the PR rep that was there for Tom Ford, and we both said the same thing. I do feel that this is definitely a spring, summer fragrance. Um, it's not a skin scent. I did wear it. I wore it out on a date. I wore it over the course of the weekend. Me as well as my guy. I had him wear it too. It did get on my body as far as longevity and hold for about six hours. I kid you not. I did spray it heavy. I sprayed my entire right or left side. I can't tell you but I did one on the right one on the left. Neither one of them left disappeared or played a skin you know scent kind of fragrance. It was beautiful. I will say this and I'm gonna keep it a buck with you as I always do. This came home with me because I am a Tom Ford lover. I am a huge Tom Ford fragrance fan, lover. I love it like I love Chanel, not quite as much, but you know, it falls in that same category. And I just felt that my completion of my collection wouldn't be complete if I didn't get um, Electric Cherry. It's pretty, when I first initially sprayed it, I got from it, you guys follow me, go with me, we're going somewhere. I got cherry cough syrup robuntessum, initially, initially. It has a cherry in there, but it smells kinda, I don't know, it just smells kinda different, not a different cherry. Um, oh God, but it's good. Then it smells like some type of hard candy. I used to get it at Halloween that I really didn't like. Um, like a jawbreaker of some cherry sort. And then in the dry down, it gets very perfumey, very floral, very, Victor and Roth flower bomb mixed with uh, Giorgio Armani My Way mixed with 
uh, Prada Paradox because it has a little bit of a freshness in there as well in the beginning. It's kind of playful. It's, it's, it's pretty. It's beautiful. It's floral. It's nothing groundbreaking. It's nothing earth shattering. It's nothing new. It's nothing that hasn't been done before and done already. But it is beautiful and I did want it in my counter. I mean in my collection, but it definitely gives me the perfume counter. If you've ever been to the perfume counter on a Saturday about 12, 1 o'clock where they're going through spray and everything saying, hey, smell this, hey, try this. It's definitely given that vibe. Do I feel it's worth for $390? In my opinion, I don't. But of course, I probably do because I bought it. But like I said, I bought it because I am a fan. I do believe it's gonna be beautiful in the spring and beautiful in the summer. It is actually gorgeous right now as well. It's just not my favorite of the two. If I were to tell you, if you said, Sheree, I'm only getting one, which one would you suggest or recommend for me to pick up? That also depends on your fragrance palette. For me, I like it hot, heavy, dark, oud, sexy, you all know. So I'm definitely gonna say and recommend Cherry Smoke, but, I am happy I have this in my collection. It is beautiful, it is very perfumey, it is very perfume counter, it is very floral. It is electric, I guess some would say. If you click on the ad for it, it's got all this electric. I'm gonna try and play a little bit of the videos, you guys. I don't know if I could, but I'm gonna try. It's definitely giving that. It's very electrifying, like, oh my God, oh my God, you know what I mean? It's pretty, I love it. If I would have hated it, you know, he has come out with fragrances before and I've passed on them. I didn't like this enough to buy it, but I don't love it, but I do like it. And you know, I'm that girl that likes to have the complete, you know, collection. So I wanted the trio. So hence why uh, Electric Cherry is in my collection. Let's talk about some of the notes in it. Like I said, it is playful, it is floral. The dry down is really, really pretty. It's cherry ginger. That's where the opening brightness comes from in the beginning to me. Jasmine pink pepper, it's got musk in it. It's very <laughs> pretty girl. <laughs> that's what I put down. Um, that's about all I can say for it. It's very pretty girl. I didn't have a problem with longevity. Like I stated, it got on, it held me tight. I got a good six, seven hours. I wore, like I said, several different times I played with this. I wore it out to dinner. I wore it out on brunch. I have a vlog coming. I'm sharing with you guys step by step the whole time me spraying it and wearing it. I was able to smell it at brunch. I took a shower. I put on my Karma Sutra Hay Skin Potion and then I um, put this on. Woke up in the morning. I was able to smell it faintly on my left side or right side and I did the same thing with Cherry Smoke. So I don't feel it's a skin scent or it's not present or there. I just feel you need to know if you're gonna like this kind of fragrance or not. And even as the dry down is happening on this card, it's nice, it is nice. That's why I got it, because I really couldn't make up my mind. I'm like, it is good though, it really is good. Oh God, yeah, it's good. Okay, get it, yeah, it's good, you guys, it's good. I really, really do like it. But earth shattering, groundbreaking, nothing's really been like that lately. But um, this right here is good. I would definitely say start with the sample. I also wanna make mention too, this is a 50 mil and this retails for $390. They do have, and a lot of people don't know about this, but they do have a 30 mil. It is being sold at Nordstrom's. You can pick that up and I believe, don't quote me, that's either 240 or 290. So if you wanted to save a little bit of a savings, I would say check that out. I also do want to mention too, Valentine's Day is coming up. We know it's quickly approaching, so there might be some sales. So if you're not eager and anxious to get it, I would say hold off. You might be able to get a 10, 15, or maybe even a 20% off discount on it. Some have said it's gonna be at the CCS store. I don't care. I wanted it right now and real bad. That's why she has it. I move on. Now let's talk about my favorite. Oh my God, you guys, this right here. Oh my, I sprayed it in the store. You've gotta watch that vlog. It's gonna come out on Sunday. You've gotta watch that vlog. I literally had like a, in the store. The lady was like, are you okay? I'm like, it's this fragrance. It is so sexy, it's so seductive. It was calling my name like, Sheree, you need me, take me home. And I was like, wrap it up, 
wrap it up i was like let me do my wear test i like i said i played with it for a few days and then i went back and got it um we became friends so shout out to you over there at the neiman marcus and you guys i love it this is cherry smoke and it's sexy it's like a black cherry you know what i mean it's like a deep dark plummy black cherry that's kind of juicy and seductive and it's got some leather in it and oh my god it's just so good okay girl girl spray it spray it hold on let me get another card they gave me these cute cards so i felt so professional it's, it's time for dwelling so oh god you guys oh i just love it so yeah i can't hide how, how i feel i told you the fragrance is always going to tell you how i feel because it'll be written all over my face Oh, I don't even have none to waste. I am going somewhere today, child. Somewhere. Oh, and I'm going to smell so good. Oh, my God. So, initially, when I sprayed this, the things that came to mind, it kind of gives me reminisce. And I'm going to take you in this family wave. It's as if Tom Ford Ombre Leather, Tom Ford Lost Cherry, and just a splash of Rose Prick had a child some type of entanglement and they produce cherry smoke it also gives reminisce to you gotta go there with me you gotta follow if you were to take initial perfumes side effect mixed with um angel shares mixed with lost cherry that's what it's giving me so i could have sprayed all those on and probably got this same type of fragrance but the thing that this one offers that those don't all except i would say side effect is a very sexy smoky smoky vibe it's very smoky it's very hot it's very heavy it's very date night-esque it's long lasting i had no problem with longevity my guy ward i was smelling him from across the table he was smelling me from across the table from across the table okay so this right here is absolutely gorgeous let me give you a few of the notes in this particular one this has sour cherry a fan this is 2022 has been the year of cherry i'm just saying and i guess i'm a cherry girl because i've been eating up the cherry fragrances and then it has saffron olive leather i've been talking about leather like crazy and you know even in the you know fashion world leather or faux leather or that wet looking material stuff it's just all the rage right now and it's so uber sexy all right and then a big pair of black glasses girl stay focused don't give me the outfit yet finish the fragrance review okay okay then it has chinese off mantis i don't know what that has to do with anything i know off mantis i've never heard of chinese off mantis uh it's got apricot in it it's got some woody notes down in the base now nowhere in there that i've looked have i seen it say that it had oud in it but i smell oud you know i'm an oud lover now you know she's like very familiar with oud now um these days this right here you need it i will tell you you need it i will honestly say get a sample now here's what i would say if you like tom ford lost cherry and you can stand for it to be amplified a tad bit or a little bit more oomph or kick or smoke pick it up pick it up it's worth it you guys it's so super good if you said sheree i only want to get one which one rec would you recommend you know i get excited when i get excited it's real okay which one would you recommend i'm recommending this one but i'm saying don't sleep on this one at least give it a try it deserves a whiff it definitely deserves a whiff and i think that spring summer this is going to kill it I'm gonna rock them both. I've already mixed them together. I've already mixed this with, with I've already did mix this. I've already mixed this one with um, Mugler Goddess. The Intense, thank me later. I'm giving you a combo over here already. I've already mixed it with the original Mugler, but it was lighter with the coconut, but with that Intense version and that bourbon vanilla in there, the way that it hit with this, I was like, ooh, sexy. And I do wanna try this with Royal patchouli 64 i think that would be good too because that one is like that what in the world in the beginning and this has all the smoke and the cherry and the dark cherry like a black cherry and it's juicy mixed with oh gosh mouth watering mouth watering good tom ford you never did call me and that's okay that's okay that's okay i know you're not even there anymore i know we're sorry the number you have dialed is not in service at this time you sold it to ask the lottery i get it i get it maybe you want to go on vacation i mean i don't know but just in case 
my number is still the same and my emails in you know the description box just in case just in case you want to call me or reach out you guys that's my review that is what I think of both of these fragrances like I said I wanted to come to you on Monday sorry I know I told some of you I would um, the video got deleted so here I am fresh from the gym fresh face from the gym with a slight beat to give you and spill the tea for you I would definitely say start with a sample uh hopefully you get nice client advisors i went in um they filled both of these up for me i played with them over the weekend kept spraying them and i was like you know what i'm going back to get it like i said i am a fan so i definitely wanted to have it in my collection i would lie to you if i tell you that that wasn't you know one of the reasons that electric cherry came home but cherry smoke was coming home regardless okay it was coming home regardless it is really good i love them both i don't know what this means for tom ford so or his fragrances or if they're gonna go to estee lauder and the you know it, it, it's gonna change and it's not gonna be the same i will say this too this is my opinion i have no facts to back me up this is my opinion this definitely smells like the perfume counter i don't really get tom ford in this much at all it just smells very perfumey but it's beautiful this right here has tom ford's dna all over it it just does i feel and i smell his dna all over this in this if you told me he didn't make any you said somebody else did i'd i'd be okay with it but this one here i'd be like god that smells like a tom ford fragrance you know what i mean just like i would know if something smelled like a chanel fragrance you know a lot of us that wear different fragrances were able to smell something and be like gosh that smells like that or that has reminisce of that and that's what that gives me or those give me reminisce of at this point you can cut off or you can just stay and hear me blabber and talk but that is my review i do feel that uh this one has a better longevity i'm not gonna say better but it's louder and projects more comes through more it's more of a beast mode heavy fragrance this is not a beast mode heavy fragrance it's not so you really can't compare the two because you just can't you can compare something like this with side effect by a perfumes initial side effect you can compare this with something like Prada Paradox and that's just where it's at so if you like those type of scents I love them though I'm happy to have them in my collection and I need a thumbnail all right, you guys, I am not going to keep you. I'm not going to hold you. Thank you so much for taking the time to stop by my video today. I truly appreciate you. If you have any questions that I did not answer or did not cover, make sure you leave it down in the comment section below. I will definitely be back to answer them. You know I'm about to play with these. They're about to be in every video. I'm about to talk about them like crazy because that's what she does when she finds something that she loves. She talks about it like crazy. So if I didn't answer anything or if I discover anything else while playing with these, I'll definitely be back to let you know. I do hop on Instagram a lot and I'll share something that maybe I've come across or realized so if you're not following me on Instagram do I think? go ahead and pull up make sure you come over and say hi in the DM as well it's always nice chatting with you guys over there today has been a great day even though it's off schedule for me I had fun with this video I could not wait to talk to you guys about it it's amazing that as soon as I got these fragrances it's like I wanted to grab the camera well I had the camera with me because I was vlogging but I was like oh my god I gotta call the girls and I gotta call the guys and I gotta let them know what's the tea what's good so I hope you have enjoyed it like I said any questions leave them down below and that is it for this video I will see you beautiful besties in the next one until next time guys you know the drill be blessed stay fit and definitely stay fabulous, darlings. Thanks for watching. Bye.